loves it's Bolina Celine and welcome to another video so I am going to be doing a clean with me we have some things that we need to take care of want it to look nice and clean and also we have a trip coming up so I want to get a head start on cleaning everything so that way I don't have to deep clean anything else because we're gonna go to Disney World I am so excited and it's something that we're trying to make a tradition to go at least like around Christmas time because it's honestly so magical and so beautiful I love Christmas and Disney and both of them combined is like it just makes me emotional it brings like tears to my eyes so I'm gonna go ahead and get started also, I wanted to let you guys know that I am doing Vlogmas over on my second channel, Belinda's Life, and I'm going to be vlogging every single day. So wish me luck. Hopefully I can get a vlog up every single day, if not every other day, but I'm aiming for every single day. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to begin in our bedroom and usually I have my bed made by this time but I was waiting for a pillowcase to come in so that I could show you guys and I have been using a silk pillowcase just on our pillows and it has made a big difference in my hair and I'll, I'll talk to you guys about the benefits in a second but I bought these from Amazon and I was talking about them on Instagram and then this brand reached out and they asked if they could send this to me so I was really really excited because Ricardo didn't have one on his pillow and he uses a more firm pillow and so I was so excited because this one actually comes with a zipper and it is from the brand called Blissey so this is like a higher quality pillowcase than what I have because I bought mine from Amazon but I think they work just as great the two king size pillows that you see in the back are down feather and Ricardo does not like them he wants something a little bit more firm so that's why I had to get this pillow for him and so now we have all the pillows with, with silk pillowcases and let me tell you guys about the benefits I originally just wanted something that would help keep my pillow cool and so I did some research and I found that silk pillowcases stay cool throughout the night and there are also a lot of beauty benefits which just blew my mind because I'm like dude it's just like the fabric but if you have noticed cotton tends to absorb anything that is placed on cotton for example it creates like greasy hair it gives you a flat head and it also tends to pull on your hair whenever you're sleeping because of the type of fabric that it is and with a silk pillowcase since it tends to stay cool throughout the night it won't leave you with flat bed hair it prevents it from being frizzy it prevents it from being greasy and also it doesn't pull on your hair because it's so smooth so there are a lot of benefits there's a lot more that I could name and I could talk all day about them but I have personally noticed a huge difference I'll have the links to the ones that I bought on Amazon as well as the blissy ones down in the description box if you guys are interested in that and I want to show you guys this Lakers hoodie right here it's actually like a blanket it's so soft and comfortable Ricardo bought one for him and for me so we are matching especially downstairs whenever we're watching TV in like our entertainment space we have those because it tends to be cold and they are so comfortable and snuggly it's almost like a sn uh, snuggle is that what it's called but it's not technically that because it doesn't cover your entire body all right, so now let's move on to laundry and I already had everything nice and folded I just needed to put it away which helps me out a lot because I don't have to iron anything when it comes to our clothes I can't just put our clothes like directly in the basket without it being folded coming out of the dryer and this just helps out a lot My least favorite thing about laundry are socks. Whenever I have a load of socks, it just, it doesn't make me excited. Um, but I've told you guys previously that one day I was so tired of mixed matched socks that I actually just threw them all away and I bought all new ones and it has made my life so much easier. They're not expensive and I feel like I only did this one time and now we're pretty much good until the socks wear out. Um, but that was probably one of the best things that I did. Yeah, he sets my body in motion. He just, 
He knows how to turn things up And he knows what gets me going Yeah, like a little text saying, hey, what's up? They look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us Thinking we are too much Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us mm. Why do I need to be good? As soon as anything comes out of the dryer, I immediately fold it. This is a really great hack if you guys are new to my channel. Definitely do this. As soon as it comes out of the dryer, just fold it because even though you might not put it away right away, at least it won't wrinkle and also you won't leave clothes in the washer because you already had some in the dryer that you haven't taken out. So I do recommend that. It's tedious, but it's worth it. Let's move on to the bathroom. It's funny because in my last clean with me video, someone mentioned that I don't really add when I clean the bathrooms and that is because that is my least favorite thing to clean and it's not cute when I'm sitting on all fours trying to scrub the toilet. Even though you guys are gonna see it in this video, <laughs> it's still not my favorite thing to do. So I don't really film it, but I'm like, what the heck, I'll show you guys. So right now I'm making my concoction. I heat up a cup of vinegar in the microwave for two minutes, then I add a little bit of water and blue Dawn dish soap, and this is going to help get rid of any of the scum that is on your shower. And believe me, it does a really, really good job. I found it on Pinterest, and I noticed that I don't have to scrub anything. I just wipe it off once I am done. The only thing is that because it is vinegar it is very strong so I have to have the fan going on and while I am like in the shower trying to like wipe it off I could smell it and it's really strong and it'll wear off maybe after like half an hour to an hour after you're done cleaning the bathroom so it does smell but it will like go away within less than a day so you don't have to worry about that but it just makes my life so much easier I'm not like breathing in like bleach or like other harmful chemicals so I prefer this method and it's just a lot easier and you want to leave it on there for about 15 minutes before you wipe it off and then afterwards it's just so simple and easy and yes I'm gonna continue to do this all right, so I took a little break, came back because the vinegar was really strong, and now my favorite part, cleaning the toilet. All right, so here we go. Here's the footage that you asked for, and I just can't stand it. But I did learn a really great hack from watching other people clean their bathrooms, and that is to put the toilet brush like between the lids. That way it can just drip and it can dry in there. All right, so that is what the shower looks like. It made a huge difference. You could actually see through the glass doors. And I'm wiping down everything that needs to go back into the shower. And this allows me to eliminate bottles that are empty or products that I no longer use. And now it's time to wipe down the counters and to clean the mirror. I'm sure everyone and their mother literally has this vacuum. My mother-in-law has it, but isn't it the best thing ever? It's just so much easier. All right, so moving on to mopping the floors. This little guy has lasted me for a while. I've had it for about five years. You put solution on one end and water in the other and it steams your floors and it has done a very good job for our bathrooms. So you'll notice that you just have to do this a little bit slower than mopping and it's a little bit more time consuming, but it's worth it because it's sanitizes your floors. Let's head on downstairs to the kitchen and we actually decorated these super cute gingerbread houses thanks to Sandy. She got four of them for us to decorate and we had so much fun. So I want to show you guys some footage of when we were decorating them because I didn't get a chance to add them to one of my vlogmas videos so I thought I would include it here. <laughs> we're waiting for Renee. Look how cute Ricardo decorated his Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you put the little Christmas lights on the side of the house, it looks so colorful. <laughs> 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 
Oh, I got someone who's super salty <laughs> over there. Yeah, right. Because no one compliments his gingerbread. <laughs> this guy's saying, oh, I'm so good. It's like when you're looking at the competition, you're trying to be quiet. <laughs> Mine is falling apart. Well, let's see if you guys can guess whose is what. Okay. We got one, two, three, and four. So guess whose is whose. Much fun. By the way, you guys guessed right, and the second house was mine. I put a little wreath outside because it reminds me of how we have decorated our homes since we have wreaths in every single window and it's so beautiful and I was sad to get rid of them because I'm like what am I supposed to do with them they're perishable they're gonna go bad and it's just like food you can't just like leave food out right so I took pictures of them I recorded it and I'm like all right now they have to go away sadly but I was glad that I did put out like this paper roll so that way it caught all of the frosting or anything like that and that way I could just like easily get rid of it so that was super easy we had a lot of the extra paper rolls and those were actually the same ones that we used when we were painting the formal living room and the staircase because it was like super thick and super sturdy so those are really nice. Video coming soon of showing you guys how we did the table setting for our dining room for Christmas and it is so beautiful I can't wait to share it with you guys it'll be in next week's video and you guys are going to love it Aside from the gingerbread houses, there wasn't too much to do in the kitchen except like put these dishes away, which I'm glad because I cannot cook unless the kitchen is cleaned and that is what's next. I need to start dinner and get ready and so I'm just going to make sure that the living room is nice and tidy as well. I vacuumed earlier this morning because the dogs brought in some leaves from outside so I didn't have to do that. done with cleaning the house so far I'm going to get dinner started but this is what it looks like I can sit down for a second and take a break I hope you guys enjoyed this video I have my Christmas tree video of how I'm going to be decorating coming soon so be on the lookout for that next week and I'll talk to you guys next time which is besos Mwah. <laughs>